Welcome back to our channel, thank you very much for tuning in. My name is Rodney and you might remember from last week that I was very excited to get my hands on the new Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them Illustrated Edition, which I did do because I couldn't obviously contain myself. I was very excited to get this and now I actually had the original one that was out many, many years ago and I'm actually going to go through the differences between these two books in case you had noticed. So without further ado, let's go on with the video. So if you haven't got this book yet, I'd really recommend getting it. It is a beautiful addition to my collection. Now, obviously, as I said before, I did have the original one and there were very, very cute little illustrations actually by JK Rowling herself. It's very lovely. And like, obviously there's a little gnome and you can see there's, there's the little fruper that was in there. So if you have this one already, fear not, because there are actually new additions to this book which I actually found out, which I also bought the uh, audio version that was actually voiced by Eddie Redmayne, who is, of course, we know is News Commander. I'd recommend getting the audio edition as well because there's actually some fantastic um, sort of like sound effects and the way that it reads it, it's very much, oh my God, you get like transported like into it. So I'd really recommend getting that one. But we're talking about this one at the moment. So let's talk about the differences. I must actually put a disclaimer that there are actually spoilers in this. So if you don't want to find out what the new editions are before you get the book, then please stop watching. But if you don't mind spoilers and want to see anyway, because this actually might be the reason why you get this book, I would really recommend getting it because it is for comic relief. So the newest edition, if you haven't already noticed, is the hide behind. Now the first time that we actually come across the hide behind was on the new story on Pottermore of the origins of Ilvermorny. Now we weren't actually sure why the hide behind was such a dangerous creature, but we actually find out in the new edition why it's such a dangerous creature. So I won't actually give away that spoiler because you'll find that out in the book. So do get the book. So a second new edition to the book is actually the Hodak, which is another Northern American beast. You actually find out more in the book of the Makusa Department of Nomad Misinformation and how they work together to actually um, sort of cover up it, the sightings of this new beast, which is quite interesting. The third new addition to the book is actually the Horned Serpent. And again, we found out more about this in the origins of Ilvermorny. Now, because I was thinking to myself when I, was really, when I was reading that story, I was like, I don't think I've come across a Horned Serpent before, but now obviously you know why, because this is the new addition that has become newly declassified. So the fourth new addition to the book is actually the Snelly Gas, and I find it really funny. I know it didn't feature in the film, but really funny apparently that it sometimes ties with the Loch Ness Monster for the most publicity hungry beast. And you actually find out a little bit more about the Northern American wizardy community on this new entry, so do be sure to check that out. Thunderbird, as we know, featured in the film, and it is actually the fifth new addition to the book. Again, we found a little bit more about the origins of Ilvermorny and how the Thunderbird uh, formed actually one of the one of the, the, the four houses in Ilvermorny. Um, again, a lovely addition to the book. I really I did enjoy reading about that. It's such a beautiful, beautiful illustration. The sixth and final new addition to the book is actually the Wampus Cat. And again, we learned a lot about that on the origins of Ilvermorny and it actually forms obviously one of the houses for the Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Again, lovely little bit more that you find out about the Wampus Cat in this story. So if you want to find out little bits, do be sure to check out this book. My favourite illustration from the book is actually the Snidget. It's so cute and it's so sad to read about the poor little Snidget. That's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed learning about those new editions. If you do have the book, please let me know in the comment section below which is your new favourite illustration because that are really, really beautiful. And if you haven't got the book, I really recommend getting it because it is for charity. If you're new here, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that button over there. And if you missed my last week's video, you can find that by clicking on that box up there. And again, with anything that I do, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.